Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is Halloween, and for that, a Halloween-themed complete history of video, and I hope you enjoy. And we are looking at the small-time rogues named Brothers Grimm. The Brothers Grimm are guys in red, wearing skull masks. They have been in Marvel for a while and have fought some underrated heroes. They even joined the team. There have been two sets of Brothers Grimm, and I'll be talking about both, but don't worry, it's not confusing. The two sets come one right after another. And now, get ready and set for the complete history of Marvel Comics' Brothers Grimm. To start this complete history off, you must know about the villain Mr. Doll in Tales of Suspense issue 48. All you got to know is there was a villain named Mr. Doll who was defeated by Iron Man. Now, the Brothers Grimm really first appeared in Spider-Woman issues 3 and 4, June and July 1978. This issue opens up with a robbery committed by a new face, Brother Grimm, and he's making jokes and just having a great time committing crime. He then goes to a congressman's room to steal off his money, but his money is not on him, so together they go to a bank and Brother Grimm breaks into it and steals it from there. This time, Grimm is acting much more serious. Spider-Woman goes to see the congressman later for info on her father. At that time, Brother Grimm crashes the party, and the two fight with Spider-Woman coming out victorious. Right after that, Grimm attacks Spider-Woman randomly, even though he was apparently in custody at the time. This time, Grimm is making jokes again. In issue 4, Grimm is spotted by Spider-Woman while committing a robbery on the road, but Spider-Woman blasts him and helps the guy, and when she comes back, she sees that Grimm escaped. Later at the pyrotechnics factory, Spider-Woman and Brother Grimm fight again since Brother Grimm was there for security for some guys, and the fight causes an explosion and another rogue escape. He appeared in Spider-Woman issue 7. It's really just a short appearance as Grimm is hired as security and knocks out Spider-Woman. And then the rogue's death came in Spider-Woman issues 11 and 12. Brother Grimm is committing another robbery and this gets Spider-Woman coming after him. She glides after Brother Grimm and tangles around with him in the air, but Spider-Woman gets beaten and captured by Grimm, and later Grimm kidnaps and captures her boyfriend, Agent Jerry Hunt. When they're captured, it's all revealed that their landlady is called Madame Doll, and her husband was that Iron Man villain Mr. Doll. While creating Brothers Grimm dolls, Nathan's consciousness, and Nathan was the real identity of Mr. Doll, his consciousness was trapped simultaneously inside both doll mannequins that Miss Doll created. They were used by Priscilla Dolly, aka Miss Doll, to power a pair of life-sized versions. She named them Jake and William. The names are a take on the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, obviously, and she treated them as if they are her sons, and they in turn acted as if they were. Priscilla planned to use her knowledge of an oculate to transfer Nathan's mind from the mannequins into a living human body, namely Jerry Hunt's. To defeat them all, Spider-Woman's friend slash father figure named Mr. Magus, a magician, casted a spell to take Mr. Doll's body out of the Brothers Grimm and into another. Just then, Spider-Woman swings in and pulls Jerry free as Nathan's soul, traveling into an empty pentagram. Uh, with no host body waiting for him, is then cast off into oblivion, leaving Miss Dolly behind with her boys, who are just dolls now. The mannequin Dolly talks to, she's asking him to please, please wake up, so yeah, Miss Doll has lost her mind. And then a brand new villain team, also named the Brothers Grimm, first appeared later in Iron Man issues 187 and 188. This happened in October and November 1984. In issue 187, we're introduced to Percy and Barton Grimes, who are adult film theater owners living in Los Angeles. They acquire a rundown theater where the original Brothers Grimm had confronted Spider-Woman, discovering the full-sized mannequins of the Brothers Grimm. Percy and Barton Grimes felt compelled to try on the Brothers Grimm costumes, and in doing so, they discovered they possessed the same powers of the originals. They used their new powers to get revenge on an old business rival, but are confronted by James Rhodes, at that time Iron Man 2. They are able to fly and create a giant plant and have stardust, making Iron Man's armor stiff and stuck, granting them escape. But later, the LAPD picks up the Grimes brothers at their theater. One starts denying and one states there's no proof, contradicting each other. He was next in Captain America, issues 330 and 331. This is when they joined a team, and that team is called the Night Shift. The hero, called the Shroud, went around and brought together this supervillain group, mostly made out of old Jessica Drew Spider-Woman villains that were captured by Locksmith. 
uh, which happened in Spider-Woman issue 50. Anyway, Shroud is pretending to be a criminal with these guys to destroy the criminal empire from within. In this story, the brothers Grimm in the group helped Captain America stop this villain named Power Broker. He was then in Solo Avengers issue 3. Brothers Grimm in the night shift battled Moon Knight here, but you really just see this one panel. It's more of an Easter egg. They were in West Coast Avengers Volume 2, Issue 40. And here, they battled the West Coast Avengers, clearly, with their personalities showing off again, the two brothers always disagreeing with each other. They fight the heroes, then go back to their hideout where the heroes show up to confront them, and, but then the Shroud makes everything pitch black, allowing everyone to escape. They were next in Avengers Spotlight, Issues 22 and 24 and 25. Issue 22 had them attack the hero Mockingbird and Hawkeye to collect on a bounty put on the Archer Avenger's head by the villain Crossfire. They're tricked and wrapped up. In issues 24 and 25, their brothers and many more trick Hawkeye and Mockingbird for the bounty, but all fail. They next fought Spider-Man in Spectacular Spider-Man issue 159 during the Axe of Vengeance story arc. Yay, Axe of Vengeance! Okay, so the issue starts out with the wizard breaking Percy and Bart and Grimes out of prison and giving them their costumes back. And for the acts of vengeance, the big dogs send the two after the spectacular Spider-Man, since they've never fought him before. Later, Madison Square Garden rises into the sky thanks to the wizard's anti-gravity discs. Spider-Man swings into action there and gets assaulted by the brothers Grimm, throwing pie bombs and gas pellet eggs at him. Yeah, these guys have some funny weapons now. Of course, you know Spider-Man has cosmic powers at this time, thanks to being possessed by Captain Universe, and he easily defeats the two. He was in Web, or they were in Web of Spider-Man, issues 64 and 65 next. In the story that's titled The Last Act of Vengeance, the ultimate end to the Acts of Vengeance story arc, which, yeah, is my favorite Marvel comic event, which I mention anytime I can on my channel. Anyway, Graviton has broken the Brothers Grimm out of prison, and all the other rogues who fought Spider-Man during that time he had cosmic powers. The other are working for the Chameleon, who lies to them and sends them after the Kingpin, where Spider-Man shows up and manages to defeat the brothers again with a trick. They were in Marvel Comics Presents, issue 87. It's a cameo. The brothers Grimm were in Avengers West Coast, issues 76 through 79. And here, the brothers and the rest of the Night Shift battle the West Coast Avengers again. They actually fight US Agent, but then they get away. Later, though, while Wonder Man seems like he's about to die, because he's literally hanging, they get up too close and he knocks him out. They were in Captain America, issue 420. The Night Shift has found out that Shroud is secretly a good guy, and so the Brothers Grimm have ditched him. They see Captain America and try to kill him, and they fail at it. They were in Avengers Unplugged, issue 4, but it was another cameo, of course, while well, they're dressed up in very nice fancy suits. They appeared in Code of Honor, Issue 3. It's an Easter egg. Then, the rogues were in the New Avengers, Issues 1 through 3. He's broken out by Electro from the Wrath, but gets knocked out by Luke Cage before even leaving the place. Next came Spider-Man Breakout, Issue 1. We see the flashback of the legendary Breakout caused by Electro again, with Brothers Grimm still just getting knocked down staying there. New Avengers Annual 2 came out in February 2008. Brothers Grimm and a whole bunch of other rogues are working with the Hood, but for here he's just an easter egg. He was in The Last Defenders, Issue 1. Their brothers Grimm were later hired by the Hood to take advantage of the split in the superhero community caused by the Superhuman Registration Act. We see Nighthawk and Gargoyle defeat the bros. They were in Secret Invasion, Issue 6 and 7. They're just an easter egg, but for the story, the Hood's gang were focused on destroying the Skrulls during the invasion. New Avengers, Issue 50. And they're part of a group where the New Avengers are trying to trick the Dark Avengers, but Norman Osborn, now Iron Patriot, tricks them and sends the Hoods gang featuring Brothers Grimm, obviously, to them. He was in Punisher, Volume 8, Issue 5. And here, the Brothers Grimm fight the Punisher and probably obviously lose. Next came Dark Reign, The Hood, Issue 1, and Issues 4 through 5. The Brothers Grimm were among the new recruits for Camp Hammer. Tegra beat Percy Barton severely, or Percy Grimes, whatever you want to call him, and left a note for his brother that read, You're next. Anyway, next, they were in Avengers The Initiative, issues 25 through 29. Still part of the Hoods gang, and nothing more. 
And then there is New Avengers issues 55 through 57. Again, they're in the Hoods gang as an Easter egg. Invincible Iron Man Volume 2 issue 20, January 2010. It's a cameo, him being in the Hoods gang. This is most of his appearances. Then came Avengers The Initiative issues 31, 33, and 34. These were all cameos. New Avengers issues 60 and 61. Again, just cameos. I hate when they're, that's all I can say about it, but I have to say something. He was in Siege issues 3 and 4. Just an Easter egg. New Avengers 63 and 64. Ah, la la la, Easter egg, you guessed right. He was in Invincible Iron Man Volume 2, issue 33. This was the series' last issue. The last half had a no-word story showing Iron Man and Spider-Woman defeating the Brothers Grimm. On March 1st, 2012, they were mentioned in the mobile game Marvel's Avengers Alliance. The Brothers Grimm were two of the many low-level villains murdered by the Circle of Eight during their ritual killing spree. They were never shown though, just referenced. Next was Secret Avengers, issues 29, 30, and 32. In this story, the Brothers Grimm joined the Masters of Evil. And then in issue 32, there's also a cameo co where they're causing random wreckage. They're in Secret Avengers Volume 2, Issue 2, May 2013. The Masters of Evil, including the Brothers Grimm now, fight the Secret Avengers. They were in Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3, Issue 6. He's here as a cameo as the Black Cat recruits Masters of Evil members into her own gang. Avengers Standoff, Assault on Pleasant Hill Omega. It's an Easter egg. He was in, they were in Daredevil Volume 5, Issue 15, March 2017. Daredevil sitting on a roof in Hell's Kitchen. The Brothers Grimm try to sneak attack him, but come on, it's Daredevil. It just takes two hits to stop those crooks. Then came Amazing Spider-Man, issue 792. He's shown to still be part of the Black Cats gang. He, they were in Venom, issues 159 and 160. The Brothers get Venomized and fight Spider-Man and AJ Anti-Venom. In the end, they get cured. Their brothers were in Iron Man 597, 598, and issue 600. In all of these, he's a background character. In November and December 2018, their brothers were in Amazing Spider-Man Volume 5, issue 6 and 7. They were making a cameo. Superior Octopus, issue 1. In this issue, the villain group Night Shift reassembles and they fight Octavius, and Superior Octopus stops their robbery. They were in Superior Spider-Man Volume 2, Issues 2 through 4. They helped Superior Spider-Man stop the villain Terax, then leave. After that, they work with the Superior Spider-Man to do good, like rescue people out of a fallen building, or they were, but there was a serial killer they didn't tell Spidey about in the night shift, so he stops their partnership. In October 2019, the villains were in Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys the Marvel Universe, Issue 6. It's just like the start of the new Avengers storyline. They were in Superior Spider-Man Volume 2, Issues 10 and 11. Their brothers Graham have betrayed Otto Octavius, their boss, for Norman Osborn, for money. The end has Dr. Octopus ca crash through their roof, grab them, and ask for Osborn's location. Black Cat Volume Issue 10, May 2020. The brothers Graham try to kidnap Wolverine, but and Deadpool just so happens to be there and shoots one of them. During the King and Black event in issue 2, they were in a cameo in the bar with no name. And, their last story to date is in Spider-Woman Volume 7, issues 20 and 21. Coincidentally, it's a full circle. The originals first appeared during the start of the Spider-Woman, and today the new brothers Grimmer end fighting Jessica Drew Spider-Woman again in her last two issues of her 7th volume. The story was released in May 2020. Their brothers are in a villain group named the anti arak 9 9 like the number 9. They have a very short appearance, dumb getting quickly beaten by the Spider-Woman. And that was everything about anything with the Brothers Grimm. This is another villain where many of their stories are just short cameos, but I did learn more about the Marvel Universe like the Midnight Group and how there were two versions of the Brothers Grimm. My favorite part about them is when they argue, when they show off their complete opposite personalities, a lot of really funny or creepy moments can come from that. And that's the wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween and have a great day.